What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing one of my favorite things and that's crappie fishing. But we're going to talk about color and we're going to talk about brush pile plastics. All right guys, color. Why is color important? Well, um, the fish are going to be able to see baits in different clarity, clarities of water a little bit differently. Uh, if you're fishing clear water, then you can use a more natural color bait. Uh, some of my favorite clear water colors are going to be silver and chartreuse, blue and white, pink and white, um, black and, and pearl or black and white. Those are really great clear water colors. Now, today we've got really dingy water dirty water we've had a lot of rain come through here recently so uh, really just uh, again some really stained water conditions my go-to for that is going to be gold and chartreuse brush pile jigs calls it disco gold and let me tell you it's one that i start with almost every time when the water's dirty other dirty water colors i use white chartreuse uh, black and chartreuse red is a really good color in dingy water um, and of course, like I said, gold and, and chartreuse, one of my, one of my favorites. So, um, use plastics that, that match the water clarity that you're, you're fishing. Pay attention to that. It will increase your success rate in catching fish. Um, as you'll see today, I'm probably going to put this right at the beginning of the video because, um, man, I couldn't do any wrong today. This is going to be a fun video. Stick around. There's a fish. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Not a big one, but it'll keep. One thing I will tell you down here today, guys, it is windier than all get out. We got like 15, 20 mile an hour winds, and I'm sure that you guys are noticing a little bit better audio quality. You guys can uh, thank my buddy Ken Daniels for that. He, he hooked me up with... Uh, what I needed to get this external mic going and get y'all some better audio, so I'm pretty excited about that. I see right there in front of me. Look at how pretty that fish is. They're getting really dark. I wish you was quite a bit bigger there, bud. But look at those colors. Man, just a pretty fish. Get back out there and do your business, partner. Got that one. That's a better fish too now. He ain't real big, but he's worth putting in the bucket. Yeah, not a bad eater size fish. We'll keep after him. Definitely just push right here in this, right on this corner, right up against the bank. All right, guys, I just popped this big old white. That sucker probably go 12 inches. Nice, pretty fish. I had the camera off because fishing has been just a little bit difficult out here today between parks being crowded. Weather is definitely uh, a little bit bipolar today. It doesn't know if the sun wants to shine or if it wants to rain, but I think we're gonna get on some fish right here. That's another real good one, guys. That's a monster. Let's see if we can't flip this big gal up here. Yep, there it is, that's a pig. All right, guys, so brush pile plastics. You guys see me using them all the time. You may wonder um, why uh, I use those baits so frequently. Well, um, I've said it before, I'll say it again, they make in my opinion, some of the best crappie plastics on the market. Uh, these plastics that they make aren't the real soft, um, two or three fish and they fall apart type plastics. These plastics will literally last you all day long, uh, particularly their new brush diver. Just an all around uh, great durable bait. 
Uh, other reason why I use brush piles so frequently is because they have an awesome color selection. Uh, like I said in the intro, we're going to talk a little bit about color and why color is important. Well, uh, if color is important, you got to have a good selection of colors to choose from. Brush Pile has that. So check them out if you guys haven't done so already. You can find them online, brushpilejig.com. You can find them on Facebook, Instagram. Drop those folks a message. They're going to set you guys up and take great care of you for your crappie plastic needs. Today at Sharp Outdoors and home of Brush Pile Plastics, we're working on something special for you today. All right, so you guys see me using these plastics from Brush Pile, and you guys see me catching fish on a regular basis. I've had several of you guys reach out to me in regards to different colors and things of that nature, and I touched on some of those things in today's video in regards to using color in specific water conditions. So what we've got put together, we've got two kits put together for you guys that are going to allow you to get the same product I'm using in your hands. All right guys, I'm excited about these kits. This is gonna be our clear water kit here. Hand selected baits from Jigging with Jake. You're gonna get four options for clear water, a dozen jig heads, and four one inch pair bobbers. Uh, also gonna include two free decals for you guys. Next up is going to be the dirty water selection. Again, man, I'm going to pick out four solid colors for you guys that you're going to see me using on a regular basis. Going to include the same jig heads and bobbers. These can be found at brushpilejig.com and also be purchased at Sharp Outdoors in Decatur, Illinois. These are normally a $23 value, but uh, we're going to knock that down to $18. So check that out, uh, gonna be a great option for you guys. Keep in mind, there's gonna be $5.95 in shipping. There we go, another nice little short. Color, y'all, color is important. That's what I think I'm gonna really focus on with this video for you guys. Just make sure you pick your plastic colors to match the water clarity that you're working with and you're gonna find a lot more success in your fishing trips. There's one. Yep, yeah, that's not a bad one. up close. Golly, he's got that thing buried. This one may have to go in the bucket just because it's where it's hooked. If it starts bleeding, it's going in the bucket. Ah, darn it. I really don't want to keep it. It's a little bit too small, but I'm afraid that one's probably going to die anyway, so may as well go in the fryer. First cast back there in the back of that cove. It ain't a bad fish. We'll probably put him in the bucket. There's a fish. That feels like a pretty good one. Yeah, buddy. We'll take that all day long. I 
Found him right in the old snoot. Real pretty fish. Tell you what, we're gonna have counter overs here, I do believe. I think we're pretty darn close to 10. Pretty good fish. Yeah. All right, guys. I might put you on hold because I might have to do a count. Man, these fish are just annihilating this thing. There he is. Well, we got to get two overs and eight unders to fill a limit. And it's possible. I think we're going to call that an under. We'll be down to seven unders. Yeah, we'll call that an under. So we only need nine more fish, y'all. Oh, dang it, missed him. I don't think so. Got that one. I tell you, these fish are just stacked up back in the back of this cove. And you just can't go wrong. Steam. Come on now. Freaking need to capitalize on my time because it's almost time for me to get out of here. Go feed the fam. There he is. Ooh, that's a darn good fish, guys. Yep. He's trying to take me right up underneath there. I believe that'll be an over for sure. Get him up here. Yeah, I don't know. Sucker fought like crazy, but he ain't near as big as what I thought he'd be. Definitely a good fish. We'll bump it. Yep, that's a ten and a half. So we need one over and seven unders. See if we can't knock out eight fish here real quick. That's kind of a terrible cast. Didn't even know he was there. I just picked up on it. Yeah, that's not a bad fish. I think we'll put that in there. All right, six unders, one over. None of that's going in the video. I'm just saying it out loud so I remember there, Jesson.
I mean, you just can't go wrong back there. It's almost every single cast. And they're just destroying it. They are just absolutely destroying these brush pile plastics today, guys. That'll go towards an under. Six and one. Every single cast. Yep, that may fill the overs. We need to bump it. That little funky stuff on its tail. Yep, that fills the overs, guys. All right, we need six shorts. Let's get this done. Oh, came off. Plastic push down on him. Every single cast. This is another good fish here. We may have a problem filling our unders, guys. That's a heck of a problem to have, right? Yeah, that's another darn good fish. I wish I wouldn't have kept the last one, to be entirely honest. This one's even better. Yeah, we'll turn this pretty fish loose. Get on back there, big gal. Do your business. Oh, I think this is another over. Well, we ain't have any problems catching fish or big fish. Dang, yeah, that's another big one. That's probably another 10 and a half, 11 inch fish, maybe even 12. Man. Get on back there, big gal. There you go, see you later. All right, six shorts is what we need and we keep popping overs. That's a heck of a problem to have, ain't it? Just another toad. I think that that's probably uh, A good sign out here. Fish are healthy. Fish are big. Alright guys, so I got hung up and my 32nd ounce jig heads that I'm using right now have a little bit smaller hook on them. As you can see the hook gap to the plastic is really close. Something you can do to fix that if you're having an issue getting hookups Take your pliers, bend that hook point up. You're going to increase your hookup ratio by doing that. If you leave those hooks like they are, man, you miss a lot of fish. And that ain't no fun. having a tough time getting my unders here. Almost 
hate to keep that as an under. So we're not going to. That one might go as a good under. He was way back up in there. Nope, another short. Come on. Changed up that hook gap though. Popped a couple of fish real quick. Didn't take no time at all. Once you make that change, Feels like another good over, I don't know, guys. Yeah, that'll be close. Let's hope he's about nine and a quarter, nine and a half, because that'd be a good under. Ah. Ten and a half inch fish. All right, y'all, thank you for coming along with me on this one. 25 fish, man, two and a half hours, uh, full limit on the lake I was fishing today. That was a tall order, but we got it done. Brush pile plastics come through. Um, hope you guys take advantage of these kits that I talked about. Uh, great way for you guys to use some of the same stuff that I'm using here on the channel. And I think you guys are gonna find success in it. So remember, can't catch them sitting on the couch. We'll see you on the next one.